There's some amazing stuff from 1950. It's amazing books that were written. There's amazing films that were made. But the reality is the culture has shifted dramatically in the last 64 years. There's no getting around that. It, it, it's, it's changing. And I think having something like the Internet just but pushes that in a direction and a guy like you who gets upset a guy like you who gets upset at all these reality shows It's really just proof that that this is what you're designed to do You're like designed to edge like this these people that are annoying you and these programs that are stupid That's actually just fuel. It's just giving you more. It's giving you an adversary It's giving you motivation to stop it from happening I mean, it's if everybody was going to college and everybody was super Educated and really aware of the problems with plastic and fossil fuels and boy what a, what a weird world we'd live in probably nothing would ever get done like the, 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 the battle between the dummies and the people like yourself is essential it's essential it's the like yin that. and yang the idea that the thesis that the, the defining the motor of civilization and human advancement is irritation with dumb people i, I think it is. i don't fuel. appreciate naps unless i work out hard i don't appreciate vacations unless i'm just exhausted I have to be exhausted with work to appreciate vacations. I must say, it's, it's one of the threads. I mean, we started talking about Infinite Monkey Cage. It's one of the threads through the whole series is, is a slight annoyance that we turn into, <laughs> into something that's interesting. It generates ideas for us. I mean, one of the, we, we had a letter about the title the infinite monkey cage complaining and the, the you shouldn't one, cage monkeys no that was it it was, it was like it's cruel it's cruel <laughs> and we so it's like no an infinite it's an infinite cage it's roomy right. it's, it's a love room it's arguably the universe is an infinite cage and then another letter came in i think it might have been a response so we'd send that back and they said no, it's, it's also supporting this kind of darwinian myth the darwinian myth that we are somehow share a common ancestor with a monkey so he said, how so? And he said, well, there was an experiment done that disproved all your nonsense. So we, we, we like experiments. We like uh, evidence. So we said, this is really interesting. What's the evidence? So we read down. And they said, uh, there was an experiment done in a zoo in uh, Alabama or somewhere where they got 10 monkeys and they gave them typewriters. And after a week, all they'd done was shit on them. <laughs> so the idea that an infinite number of monkeys could write Shakespeare and all this is, is a myth. It's like, well, there's a difference between 10 monkeys and an infinite number of monkeys. There's, it's not, you know, 10 is not very close to infinity. And it's just these complaints about that. And we, I mean, my, my friend Robin Ince, who I co-present it with, he said, he said, it's not an incremental process, this kind of infinite monkey thing. It's not like if you have 100 monkeys, then eventually they'll produce a leaflet. And then if you have a thousand, they'll do maybe a book, like, uh, <laughs> you know, and, and then if you had 10,000, they'll do Shakespeare. And it's not, you know, really, we mean it. It's an infinite number of monkeys you need to type out the works of Shakespeare. But yeah, we get a lot of, we enjoy the complaints. We get a lot from, yeah, we get a lot of complaints from Deepak Chopra, actually, these days. He's a silly bitch. He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't Isn't that one of those things that, 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 that's like one of those expressions that people always use, that if you take an infinite number of monkeys and give them the typewriters, they'll type out Shakespeare, yeah, the works of Shakespeare. True. It's just, is that true? Well, it is true. It's an infinite number of monkeys. Yeah, but even an infinite number, everything. I think they're going to fail. They're going to fuck it up. No, no, you They're don't. monkeys. You don't think? No, no. no. <laughs> they're still you were, monkeys. You were talking to me earlier about infinity. You know I know, but infinity. if you get an infinite number of monkeys, aren't there, if there's this, the same animal, they're the same exact animal, they're going to type the exact works of Shakespeare? Well, they, they, they will, because there's an infinite number of them. So every possible combination <laughs> of letter presses must happen. That is true. Actually, but infinite would it times. happen? What is the odds of it happening in the exact same order of the works of Shakespeare? Is it even calculated? Less than zero. Less than zero. But well, no, it's still greater possible. Than zero. Greater so than the zero. odds are greater than zero. So, so that's it the can point. happen. So if you've got an infinite number of them, and you've, then, then you will get everything that can possibly happen will happen. Could you imagine if one monkey just randomly, they gave it a key, you know, like, look, we're talking about the entire universe, right? So we're talking about an infinite number. But what if they just get lucky as fuck and give one monkey a typewriter? And this little dude just starts banging out the entire works of Shakespeare, but he's still a monkey. He's still, like, playing with his butt and, you know, swinging around and having a good time. He's not doing anything else other than when they put him in front of this keyboard, he types out all the works of Shakespeare in exactly the right order, the exact punctuation, the exact spaces in between letters. Well, if the universe is infinite, <laughs> which it may well be, in fact, the, the, there are many ways the universe can be infinite, then um, that would happen. 
because everything that it, if it's if it's in accord with the laws of physics then it can happen and everything that can happen in an infinite universe will happen because the universe is formally infinite so i contend and we'll probably get emails about it, but i'm trying to think whether there's any counter argument i don't think there is i contend that in an infinite universe it, even the most unlikely possibility must happen in fact formally an infinite number of times so maybe shakespeare was yeah, a monkey just looking, yeah maybe, maybe someybe someone's got, pet monkey we can imagine? calculate it we could, <laughs> we could 